Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Platinum Point, and I'm here to bring you guys part two of my Overlord deck profile, where we are going to go over the test hands, combo lines, as well as just beginner gameplay guide on how to play this deck. So before we begin, um, I just want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe for more updates and click the notification bell for more updates. This just helps the channel grow and it really does help me um, see what content you guys like to see on this channel and really helps me modify my, my content to help you guys out. So without further ado, we're going to go over a beginning gameplay video against a bot. So I just want to preface that everything in this simulator is owed to us by a, a community member who just loves the game and he decided to um produce this for us so we can have game um to gameplay testing in the pro like programs with dev pro for Yu-Gi-Oh and ygo pro for Yu-Gi-Oh. just free programs that allow us to just play the game and showcase to you guys how the decks work in 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 a clean and automated fashion so I hope you guys like this. And if you guys want the program, I will put a link to the description to it below. Um, this is all just here to help the community have more avenues of test playing and before even investing into the set, which is a good idea. So um, without further ado, let's get on to a test match. So we'll be going first. This is actually a really good going second hand. But I'll show you guys how to pilot this going first. So we're just going to discard one for the mulligan. And we just hit the good going first card. So in this situation, we're going to clock the uh, the copy of the Shaltier Brainstorm. Because we only need one. Because that's essentially what we're going to be using throughout the game. So we can clock the, the second copy. And we just drew a second copy of the Heinz Ricky. So in this situation, I am going to go... Normally, I would play the Vampire Brides, but I'm going to be going for the Aura because if I do lose this, I at least get to dump this into the waiting room. Guarantee the, the um, true Vampire Ancestor Shelter to have a draw if I need to, as well as allows me to dig for either the level 1 combo, the 1-1 one -one Eins, or the 1-1 the one -one Goat event. So we're going to go swinging in, directing for 2. We hit the 2. So let's see how this goes. So we see the, the the AI trying to go for the aggressive play here. And usually this is one of the ways you beat the, the Ainz is you kind of have to play a very aggressive game plan. Since um, if Overlord isn't able to kind of mount a comeback on the aggressive route, it's very hard for them to really um, re regain the advantage lost. So like, this is an example of advantage that I could have had, but was unfortunately un unable to get it. So I do hit the, the shell tiers, which is fine. So what I'm probably going to do is do the, this um, shell tier. We're going to do her act ability, put the vampire bride to see what we can draw. We hit that, which is fine. So what I'm thinking here is we're going to put this Ainz in the back row so we can shape save this shaltier since we need her for just overall the resource game since we're kind of behind in resources so we hit three brainstorm which is great it allows us to kind of get back into the games somewhat so what we're gonna go for here is i am gonna need the one one eyes and i'm also gonna need probably we have the Demiurge, which is fine. So what I'm thinking we probably go for is another Vampire Bride. We'll probably go for all the Vampire Brides, actually, because we can just reverse the entire lanes and then um, save the Shaltier and then be able to draw with the Shaltier. So we're going to do that. We'll play these characters out. And then just go into attack phase. Since we, since the shelter automatically triggers us, we control another one. We can either keep it in hand or, I mean, keep it at the top of our millet. We're going to mill it because we actually want the 1-1 one -one events. So we're going to, oh, shoot. We're going to, we're going to swing in. I like this program because sometimes 
You might actually double click and not not mean to um not mean to lose kind of just the advantage or the stock gain. We're not gonna encore those. So now we have the shelter that we can protect for next turn. So what we're going to do is just protect it and then bounce. Which is fine if we take the level up. We're going to level up the 1-1 one -one Ains. We're going to cancel that. And then we cancel that. So we're all out 8, which is great. That means we don't have to launch the, 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 the Ains combo yet. So what we're going to do here is probably... We're going to clock this Ains and just draw 2. So... I think the, the the best plan here moving forward is we're probably going to just go here, here, we'll play this, we'll play that Ainz and we'll play this Shalt here. I think we'll just clock one so I can draw and we hit another copy of the event. So let's check our waiting room. We see one, we see two, we see all three there. So I think this is fine. So in, in this situation, I think the best play is we just, we just go, we go straight into attack phase and we'll just keep that at the top and start turning cards sideways. So we'll front here for two. We get the reverse here and we're going to put the plus one K here and then we're going to front I think we're safe to front here. We're fronting for one. And then now we front here. So now they're at level two. They're probably, um, the, the bot is behind resources. So they're also probably gonna have to rely on this plan. Okay, we're actually in a really good state right now, so we're not going to clock here. Instead, we're going to just play over it, actually, with this. Uh, actually, better. We'll do the brainstorm. Rest these two characters. Okay, that's fine. Because now we can rest these two. Okay, that is actually pretty interesting. So what we can do here, we'll play this Ainz out. We'll play the Act skill, discard this. We'll play this, we'll move it to the center. What we're gonna do, we'll play this. I'm not going to activate skill. We're going to instead play the event. Get ourselves another 3-2 Ainz. We'll pump the center lane. Get ourselves another character. So I'm thinking in this situation, we get our hands on that. The Yuri Alpha. And then just pump. So then we'll begin climax phase. We're keeping that because we want to trigger it. And we play the climax. So we're going to heal. Now that we have that, we're going to choose to marker those. Give that the plus. And we're going to direct here, actually. So we can trigger the gold bar. Line sock. We're hitting for three. We'll direct here for three as well. Um, we're gonna take advantage of this by essentially just getting what we need. And in this situation, we could just side. We respect the backup and just side. Because now um, they're gonna hit level three. The bot's going to hit level 3 and they have no choice. 
but to just turn cards sideways too. And this gives us ample opportunity to just... Make their board. We'll clock ourselves to flip over. Oh, look, we get the goats. Sweet. Nope. Nope. We'll draw. Okay, we keep. We keep this hand because we're just gonna play the eins out. We'll play the goats. I think in this case we could just try field the eins and not have to worry. Because what we can do here is now we could just board wipe and then burn one on these side on these lanes right here. So we're gonna enter climax phase, launch the climax. We'll do that one first. We will burn one. We'll Board wipe. And we'll burn one again. And then we'll give Hexproof to center. And then we just turn card sideways. Direct for four. We'll direct for four. We'll direct for four here. Okay. We'll do a we'll do one burn one. And then we'll just keep it there. I think that's fine because ultimately we just wipe the mush the, the bot's board. So this is actually a really fast game, which is kind of nice. Because now all we gotta do is just do this. Burn one again. Burn one again. And burn one again. And you win. So like this get the, the deck can get very easy to play, but overall I do think um it all depends again how your hand is. As you can see, like there were some plays that I could have done differently and it probably would have ended up a lot better than where I was at but overall it still ended up pretty nicely so overall I do think it's good to like look at simulators like this to test out just your general deck list ideas um, I encourage you guys to use this program um, I will be doing um, some more kind of just live gameplay testing hands to showcase you guys how the how the general idea can work in a um just a generic gameplay situation if you guys want to see a competitive set setting again stay tuned i will be doing some more um tournament gameplay with this deck because i think that will give you guys a better idea of how the deck fares in a competitive environment so once again this is platinum point don't forget to rate comment subscribe hit the notification button and false crack that like button like it is like your life depended on it Stay on point, guys, and peace out.